Hello, phase tubers. Maybe? And welcome. Welcome back to Let's Play Xenonauts X Division mod with me, Blue Ankylo. Hey there, Tim. I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. Uh, today, we're going to let some time go by and see what happens. Oh, look, a bunch of stuff got built. That's cool. Uh, we could build a bunch of jets for South America and the Soviet Union. Do we have the money? What do we think? We could. Oh, you know what I was supposed to be doing? I forgot. I was supposed to be selling... Yeah, last live stream. I said, I will build a bunch of stuff. Chat, don't forget to remind me to sell data cores and do some missions. So that I can afford all the researchers we want to research. You guys didn't remind me though. Now we're out of money. We got three lasers, two labs. Three lasers, no labs. You don't remember? Sure, I told you guys. I guess I have, uh, I have enough labs. I just don't have the money to hire the researchers. So if we see some missions, I'm gonna, if we see some phase one missions, I should probably still do them. How many, do we want to build more? Nah. Nah. You know what? We're close enough to phase two. The plan for Soviet and Soviet Union and South America bases will be we will build phase two tier two fighters for the main bases, and then these guys will get hand me down to the the secondary bases. That'll be fine. That way we're not like building a bunch of mostly obsolete aircraft right before we get better ones. Okay. I'm not going to build more aircraft, but I might try to get a little bit more money before possibly phase 2 hits. Maybe. Just checking for weapons to disassemble mostly right now. But other than that, not too much to do. Don't you dare send me out. Come on, Hades. Don't you want to make a little bit of money for the team? Robodogs. I wasn't forgetting anything I was supposed to do back in base, was I? There's anyone that needed new gear or change up some equipment or something that I keep saying and then I always forget? Seems like the kind of thing I might do. Do the splash! You know what? <laughs> we missed out. That last terror carrier was definitely trying to attack our base. And it was the first terror carrier to try to attack our base. Oh, it's singing. Sorry, skip. Um, the reason I know is because the scientists tell me that it was a base assault. Eh, neat. You, you could read a whole bunch... Basically, they attack you and then you defend. Um, it's better than vanilla because you can you get a deployment phase where you can set up your defenses in your base and you kind of can see where the aliens start on your base. So it's it's nicer than vanilla, but it's also very very difficult because you know there's a lot of aliens and they destroy your stuff. Anyway, there's a ton of text here. There's no way. There's some if your base gets conquered, your uh, your aircraft and scientists try to find a different base to go retreat to. So you might not lose them all if, if you lose, but your soldiers are probably dead. Send solo volunteers to make... to make. Just send guys with no wolf armor. That'll be interesting. Really, the main thing that makes the, the missions easy right now is this wolf armor. If you did not have... Um, let's see here. If you did not have 60 kinetic armor and 50 energy armor, but instead had, you know, basically nothing... The aliens which have, uh, let's see here, alien early weapons that do like 25 damage, even the sniper does zero damage to wolf armor, right? 60 minus 60 is zero, so, you know, that's not that bad, or 50, whatever, point is it barely does any damage. Um, phasers, same kind of thing, they do zero damage, that's, that's why we're so strong. Um, just get rid of that armor and you'll feel very, uh very human again, very, uh, mortal. 
So, we're hoping for phase two anyway, then it doesn't really matter. Oh, there might be a little bit of money. One thing I'm like, I want more money. Yeah, we shot down all those alien fighters. Boom, 200,000. That helps. And I could definitely sell some weapons if I don't want them all, but yeah. Good luck, chat tubers that are fighting off the alien terror missions. Hopefully it goes as well as our C team. Do you need alien fighters to make high-tech aircraft? Nah, just other... Just, just to repurpose them. And then... You can only repurpose tier 1 fighters to tier 1 fighters. So, tier 2 will have heavy alien fighters. And then we'll uh, sell or use those to make our own tier 2 alien fighters. I would, I would just sell them most of the time. I don't think they're very good. Okay, we're definitely going to be hitting phase 2, right? Medium UFO, that doesn't say anything yet. Alright, the axe, door, and probe launcher... Come on, large. Uh, that's just a medium with escorts. That still doesn't tell me anything. <laughs> medium with escorts is starting to make it sound like this is another phase one. Um, I guess what we'll do is we'll shoot that one down first. Because it's so close. And that should be enough ammo to still take this one out, or at the very least, it'll be enough to take out its uh, escorts, and then the Foxtrots can finish it off. Okay, this is technically overland. Boom. Tail to overland. Boom. Oh, right. Oops. With escorts, you have to do it manually. We didn't take as much damage as some days, but that was a mistake. So all the missions are over on this side of the world. This is weird. Be oh, and, and also, now that we've... Sorry, <laughs> I, I got a little ahead of myself. I was thinking maybe this was Phase 2, but you can tell this is still a Phase 1 fighter and bomber corvette. We will have different named UFOs for Phase 2, so... You will get a little bit more warning when it's time for Phase 2. So still Phase 1 for another... Another round. Sorry, phase tubers, we're not ready. Why would you split up like that? Making my life more difficult. What do you think double Ds are? <laughs> this is Robert we're talking about. Oh, that almost got them both. Not quite. <laughs> All right, this is not working out. Okay, let's get a little bit of let's get a little bit of space here. Try again. That's more like it. All right, you boys, get out of here. They're all a little bit low on fuel and injured a little bit. You want him to explain it? <laughs> yeah. Be wary of his full-on explanations, though. What about the really big ship? What really big ship? Oh, so how are we going to do these? Clearly, you know, A team can do this one. C team can do that. B team can double mission if they make it in time in the morning. Just double mission. How long will it take uh, B team to get here? 14 hours. So we can launch right now if we want to do it like that. Which means we should probably make sure we actually have a team ready to go. 
So B team, oh yeah, Duke can go, that's fine. Give him a little practice. Do we want to upgrade anyone and bring some lesser equipped soldiers? Hmm. I'm not sure about that. I don't know if I can trust these guys, even even though it's a it's an easy mission. Well, they're mediums. Mediums are not super easy. But like, how do I pick someone to cut out? What's fair? How do I how do I choose someone to bench? <laughs> also, the newbies, the rookies probably can only be shield guys. So we're probably benching our shield guys. Just put Hades in the team. I hear he wants to go on a mission really badly. Tim's been in chat, hasn't gone on a mission in a while. Faye's been in chat. Those who are active in chat should go. Or who's who's active in chat? There's Thornum. Well, he's a captain. Yeah, he's pretty good anyway. That's not even. This isn't even appropriate. You're already pretty well statted. <laughs> Everyone in chat wants to go. Alright, alright. I mean, I understand that. I feel bad for the future tubers a little bit. So that means we bring Yellow Yoshi. I saw Lowing Eagle in chat. I haven't seen Elmira and Erotica today. That means Thornum wants to go. Who else did we see? I can't even remember who made Doomed Guy. And then Tim was in chat, Hades was in chat, Faye was in chat. Man, the A-team is getting ripped to shreds. Hades wants to do a solo mission. <laughs> I see Hades does. <laughs> Alright, future tubers, I'm going to put a pause here while I figure this out. This is just sitting around looking at your guys. I'm sorry if you're getting cut, but I'm going to put someone else in. Welcome back, prepared tubers. I'm just going to give you a quick overview of what was decided on by me and the live chat while you weren't watching. We've decided to do these missions, probably not to record them all, because you guys have seen quite a few tier 1 missions by now. We're probably like, I don't know, 40 or 50 episodes in, still in phase 1, so we're going to skim through some stuff. But we are giving a couple rookies a try for each just to get some basic stats and to try to show off some new faces. I can't put too many newbies on the team or we'll lose because they're not strong enough to carry much. But some people have been reassigned. They've got a little bit of R&R, uh, a &R, little bit of break for a couple people and a couple new faces on some missions for the coming up coming up wave. So, you know, Duke and Doom Guy are added in. Uh, Evan and Danny are taking a little break. And... Hades and Tim are back on and then uh, Encarta and Scarbamir took a little break. So we're sort of rotating some people around a little bit. Nothing too crazy. Should still be fairly easy missions but these guys are going to be carried by the other team. The, the rest of the team. And our amazing equipment. Anyway, so the plan will be C team mission A team mission, B team mission plus Whoever does the best gets the extra bonus mission. Hades gets back on. Maybe. Maybe he's never had a chance to shine. Oh, wait, hold on. I should probably launch C team right away. I forgot about that. Not C team, B team. They've got a long way to fly. They gotta get going. A team is close. B team is like... It's fairly likely B team could do both of these as well, depending on what we need. Chances are the first mission will be C teams. For those of you betting, this will be a C team mission. This is only a small though. Maybe we should let C team do both, because they can do a small and a medium. And then everyone else, everyone gets one medium UFO, basically. Because the small will be too easy. Too easy, man. And then the C team gets the most experience. So 
Sorry, Hades. You're on the A team now. All right, future tubers. So the only difference here is we have some uh, some C teamers or some well, I guess they're like B teamers, but they're on whatever team. Some backup soldiers with bad stats with shields. They're not going to have SMGs or anything cool. Barely any grenades. Their job is mostly to scout and hold a shield while the rest of the team uh, kills stuff. And they train up just by running around mostly. So you're probably not missing too much. I'll give you a quick recap when we get back. But we got four missions to do, so I got to get running here. See you guys shortly. Hey there, future tubers. No worries. We survived. The uh, rookies, they did all right. You know, they clubbed some aliens. We actually captured some more aliens. The main the main trouble with these missions is it uh, it takes a while. They're a little bit slower when we're training up rookies. But small scout, you know, no big deal, right? It was good. And I need to remember, note to self, Blue. Of course, now they're singing. Uh, note to self, we're trying to make money right now. So sell things for money. That's that's kind of the the goal here is to get some get some value. Not that we're dying, but I wanted to have over a million before phase two, basically. Some more sci-fi types games, yeah. I had a bunch before, but it just depends on if there's an OC remix album, because I have to stick with music that's not like copyright flagged, and sometimes video game music still is, whereas the remixes are generally pretty safe. Anyway, C team survived their mission. Good work. I think I was going to do another mission with C-Team, to be honest, so they'll, they'll, hold on. Because the newbies were so weak, they should have gained enough strength to actually carry some, some grenades now. Emergency smoke. Here you go, Yoshi actually able to carry one grenade. Hmm. Not, not the best. I guess that'll have to do. Next mission. B team. Good luck, B team. Future tubers. In the spirit of keeping things flowing quickly for you guys, we will be also skipping this. But we'll have a quick look at what was on the ground. Such Final Fantasy. Kinda, I, I kind of like this tune. It's all right. Looks like uh, we might be going up against Androns with this team. Doomed guy, maybe doomed. Let's see if we can handle this before I stop recording. Oh, that's not good. Next turn, we're gonna want to rock it, maybe. Hmm. I think I sent the tank the wrong way. Duke, you and Doom Guy equal opportunities. It's fair is fair, right? Two rookies. If we burn the field down, it, it doesn't affect the robot. Pillage the farmers. Who are, who are we trying to stop right now? The farmers or the aliens? Oh yeah, we got Thordum with his uh, machine gun or min mini gun. It's too far away, really. That's not gonna work. The farmers are up to no good, pretty much. I want I want people in position to help. Next turn. So we're probably rushing up a little bit more than normal. So for the future tubers, we'll we'll watch at least the first end turn here, just to see if something bad happens. Because this is not a nice, not a nice start. It's only one alien, you know, unit, but it's in a pretty well covered position. Nowhere easy to shoot it, and it's got heavy weapons. That's a light drone. 
That's a medium drone. Look at this! Camping business. Maybe two light drones up there? Oof. Some Robodog carts. Alright, well let's let's keep going a little longer for uh for the future tubers. The YouTube viewers. Are they all playing this hiding behind the wall game? Oh gross. So Victory! It's not really time for victory, but I appreciate it. <sighs> At least I know where he is. Can't hide there so easy. Thornum vetoed the victory music. <laughs> oh, the moderator's powers have grown too strong. Someone help me in chat. I mean, it's pretty, but that's not very effective. Nice try, Thor. Hmm. Do we sneak up on him and throw grenades at him next turn? <laughs> Don't worry, Duke Nukem. I've never gotten you killed before. Right? I mean, Doom Guy, like I said, equal opportunity here. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what? He's going to keep coming around the corner and shooting people and then hiding around the corner. I can't hit him back there. Look, fair is fair. I'll move other people closer too. <laughs> Trust me, I'm not trying to sabotage you guys. I think this is legitimately our best option. <laughs> Bundles of hay are bulletproof. So they tell me. Oh yeah, the tank always stops when it can see uh, a robot. Alright, these guys got suppressed so they can't move very far. I should try to split them up so they can't both get suppressed as easily. Who needs a shield with wolf armor? That's the spirit. It's fine. Sure, just... yeah. We're fine. There's a lot of... the problem is all these light drones. The problem is... this is a terrible map. We've surrounded... <laughs> and we got rookies on this map. This is not a good map for rookies. Alright. Still, uh... no injuries yet. This guy continues to cower in fear. So this is why I brought you over here, Duke. Bust a move. I think you killed it! Excellent. Like I said, I know what I'm- I totally know what I'm doing. And eventually Doom Guy is gonna sneak up and do the same thing over here. It's just gonna take a little while. Meanwhile, okay, some things are happening on this flank that are less good. Maybe the tank? Not quite. We're gonna switch over to lasers here. Not that impressive, Aaron, but you know. Oof. Ugh! Alright, Lone Grim. Colonel Lone Grim. 33. 61. That explosion was tiny. The tank has armor-piercing uh, armor piercing cannons. It has to hit the target, but if it hits the target, it does a ton of damage. It'll one-shot an Andron. I don't like the explosive rounds. I like the piercing rounds. Oh, Kleber did take some damage. Flawless is gone. I don't even know who hit him, to be fair. but Probably the tank. The, the drone. Okay, we'll move him behind some bigger hay bales. I suppose the problem right now is this flank. So let's get uh, another sniper over here. Laser snipers are going to be one of our best ways of dealing with them, so. 
Uh, laser miniguns, if we could get a lot closer, would work. The one time you go for flawless summon gets... This was a rough start, though. Like, This was definitely not one of the easier openings to a map. That's why I'm still recording it for you guys at, at home in the future. This is definitely not a, a friendly introduction mission. It may get simpler in a second once we clear out the opening, but uh, at the beginning here, it's a little scary. And yes, hello, Grotham as well. Did that... That Andron jumped over a fence. Keep that in mind when we get our power armor one day. Because we do not. Alright, so... Like, Jarrow, I don't know if you've seen one of these before, but... Yeah. <laughs> oh, Thornum got suppressed. If you're suppressed, you can't fire your minigun at all, because it's... Uh... It's just too many time units. This is fine. Are we using axes? Well, sometimes. Right now, we're using anything we can to kill these, uh, jerk androns. That'll do. Sniper rifles. Pretty good stuff. You could say I'm a fan. Okay. Duke nuked up one, uh, one medium drone for breakfast. There's some light drones up here. I could... Oh, Doom Guy... <laughs> well, that plan's not gonna work. Oh, I probably should deal with that dog, actually. That's that's one thing I forgot about. <laughs> it's always scary firing rockets over cover, but only 13%. No problem. Dead, dead dog, 350 damage. All these armor-piercing rockets are pretty good against robots. Okay. So no grenades up here. That's a bit of a one. I'm I'm used to everyone having grenades, you know. That's that's my my own fault for forgetting that. That's okay. That's why we have experienced soldiers to back them up. All right, this was a good turn. Dead robot dog, dead drone, two dead robots. We got to get rid of these light drones. They're going to be really annoying suppressing us and killing civilians. Oh, come on. Where'd they go? <laughs> They're right behind you, doomed guy. All right, don't worry, don't worry. We got experience. When has 129% ever failed us? Don't answer that question. When has 172% ever failed us? Not today. All right. Doom. See, I knew there was two of these things. Don't worry, you're actually in cover. Technically, unless it gets really close with a diagonal, you are in some cover. You'll be fine, doomed guy. You're not actually doomed, maybe. Okay, that's the edge of the map. This is probably a dead end. So we'll start sending more reinforcements to Doomed Guy. I do want to send one sniper to the front at the very least. Get uh, one more rocket just in case. But yeah, see this is how it goes future tubers. You might have a little bit of panic early on. But once things get under control it's usually pretty much solid. And then it's a fair amount of time just moving people around, doing the breach safely and all that. So I think for the future tubers, we'll cut it for here. I'll meet you at the end of the mission because I'm sure 100% positive this was the scary part. And then getting through here will be relatively standard, just a little slow. And I don't want to spend too much time on camera. So I will see you guys back at the end. I'll pick up recording if something crazy happens again. 
Welcome back, future tubers. We won. And yes, I was mostly correct. The first couple turns were the scary parts, and then we mostly just maneuvered around and uh, took down the last UFO. There was only three Androns in the actual UFO, and there really wasn't any super big panic moments. So, um, no. Good little mission. Some of the rookies are privates. You know, they got a lot of strength and a little bit of TU, so... Assuming they can carry some grenades later will be quite helpful. And I think I will still let the C team get the last, uh, the, the final down. We could have had the B team do both of them, but uh, these guys are a little bit higher experience. And uh, they made us some money, you know, another 200,000. That's not bad. Thornum did almost reaction fire minigun one of his friends. That is true. That is true. And that was totally his own fault. It wasn't me. I did not tell him to fire. Alright, anyway, just, you know, do a couple things. More missions! So many missions! Hades wants to go on the front line. One of these missions has Hades. I just, we've just been churning through the missions. This is another C team mission. I'm pretty sure you're on the A-team, though, Hades. Don't worry. You'll get your chance. Just one more mission. <laughs> so, future tubers. Another medium. What do we get this time? I'm starting to regret doing all these missions. I think, for sure this time, if we get another wave... Dang it. If we get another wave of... Uh, what am I trying to say? Another wave of tier 1 UFOs? I don't think I'm going to do any more missions. Unless it's like a terror ship or something, but... Oh, so many Androns. We actually didn't do very much damage. That got him. Good job, Epsilon. <laughs> you dusted one of them. But there's another... And the tank made it like two steps out of the out of the out of the vehicle. All right, all right, we'll play this out. Oh, you're supposed to, right? Rookies with no time units can't actually make it to cover like I'm used to with everybody else. I'm just playing a little bit. It's getting a little bit late. I was really, I was really hoping I'd get. Uh, through this phase, and here we are grinding things out. Uh, well, Wolf Armor's got pretty good defense against uh, laser weapons, right? Can I take a Shinook with only the tank? I don't know. I mean, this isn't going to kill it, but it'll do some damage. Three. Three to be precise. Okay, we could put shields in front here. Yeah, that's not bad. Yellow Yoshi, don't worry about it. Just, just cover for my mistakes. I'm still also a little worried that we haven't looked this way at all. Okay, good. There's nothing too close on this angle. We gotta keep an eye over here though, because this is some space. We did kill one Andron, but there's another one just waiting to get us. Uh, Lone Eagle's not in a great position. This has not been my best starting deployment. That's true. I suppose in these scenarios, one should throw a little bit of smoke on the ground. I suppose. And he just shoots at the civilians anyway. Silly robots.
All right, I kind of like this layout. At least it gives us a little bit of space to work with. You just hide over there, fella. It's probably safer in there. Okay, tanks out of the way. We'll take two shots. If we miss, maybe we'll destroy this. And then the second shot will be more accurate. Or we'll just hit. Why aim when snapshot work good? All right, we're doing it. This is Final Fantasy. Did you know that this is Final Fantasy 2? You're getting serious there in the music. Skip. Maria will take you to the Rebels. Chat did not want to go to the Rebels. No time for that. One of these days we're going to learn what music chat skips or not. And we'll know ahead of time. Ooh, that's a nasty surprise. Uh, that's not so good. The dubstep does get a little bit overpowering. Okay. There's not enough time units on Soldier S. 67 is not a lot. I mean, we'll kill it next turn, but... Yeah, that's not gonna work. Alright, Big Muhammad, you're just gonna have to not get killed. Well, I say that. Okay, I got a better plan. Other than just don't die, you know, let's be smart here. We have the power to throw grenades. Did anyone die? No, we had a great mission. <laughs> Duke's still alive, right? We, I didn't kill him. Don't mind all these people hiding in the barns. That's a... Uh, Probably more likely to be aliens on the left side or over here. Probably. No one ever dies. That's the rule. I'm just waiting. What I'm a little bit worried about, just a little bit, is that if we give chat too much power, <laughs> if we make skipping music too easy, that is, or if I don't uh, sort of vet my music well enough, then the future tubers will be very angry <laughs> because the music is always changing. Or the song they heard, they wanted to listen to gets, gets voted out. <laughs> I'm waiting for those angry comments. It'll probably go to four or five votes to get skipped eventually. Yeah, I, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we'll need to do that. We'll need a, a strong chat committee to uh, actually remove a song. But part of it is like I have to get the playlist set up better anyway. So they've got... Like, I will be perma-blacklisting certain songs out of it as I find them that I don't want myself. Once those are all gone, it you know won't change as much anyway. So that's, that's sort of on me. Being alone doesn't seem like the best idea. Oh, you know what? Future tubers, I'm sure the rest of this mission will be easy enough. Let's see if we die here. I feel like we're just, we're at that exploring phase that takes another 10 minutes, 10, 20 minutes. And you guys probably in the future don't need to see this. Yeah, there's nothing to do for a little while. I'll see you guys at the end of the mission so you don't have to watch me check every single black spot. Hey there, future tubers. This mission looks pretty good, but we had a couple stressful moments at the end. Some, uh... Rookie mistakes, not enough laser rifles. Androns are just a real pain in the neck. Hopefully in the future, we will get, uh... You're only injured for one day. You'll be fine. It's barely a scratch. Three damage. 
It's like you stubbed your toe. Um, hopefully, we, once we hit phase two and the androns get worse, we will get the technology to defeat them finally, which won't really arrive until phase two. Right now, we still don't really have any good anti-robot tech, so uh, they're still pretty tough, and they'll get harder, so androns are kind of w one of the worst early game enemies. But we did take it out, so that's another victory. And there's one left, but I, I'm not going to be able to do it tonight, so <laughs> it's been going on for a long time. For the future tubers, I think I might... I'm going to check the video link. This might not be the end of the video for you guys, because... Uh, I've just been cutting out all the actual episodes, but I'm going to end, I'm still going to do this mission, but I'm going to end the, ep potentially the episode here, but I'm ending the stream here. So if there's a weird gap, that's all that's happened is I'm just starting the stream on a different day. So I just need to remember next time, LP mid ep, and then we'll just continue from here, just doing the same thing and, and that should be fine. Anyway, I can almost guarantee the next alien wave will be phase two. In fact, I just saved it. Let's just, for science, this is just, 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 just a, this is a little bit of fast forward into the future for you guys, for everybody. Even the future tubers. We'll reload that next time. We shot down a base constructor. Yeah, forget the bet. <laughs> we could have had an alien base. That's too bad. I don't know which one it was. This is not what I wanted. This is still phase one. Uh, we could double check if we send uh, at least one UFO, one one wave out. Yeah, just Corvettes. That's phase one again. Come on, when's phase two start, game? I'm sure they started in January for me before. I just, you know, we're just we're just having a little look. Maybe. Yeah, there you go. End of January. So that's how far we have to go. This will be... I'm not going to do anything with it. This is all just for science to show you that it's coming up. But... For sure now, confirmed. By the end of January. <laughs> you know, this will this will probably happen. Light cruisers. Definitely stream... Definitely phase two. So we'll be looking forward to that next live stream. 100%. And, um, next episode, or this episode, depending on how things go, future tubers, we should be able to get there. I'll probably do this mission and skip the next wave, because, you know, I, I just gotta get to phase two. It's time. It's finally time. We've had, like, 12 live streams now or something. I don't know what number we're at, but it's time to move on. And, uh, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. Alright, folks. Future tubers, it's either the end of the episode or not. I don't know. But I'll see you next episode or next minute. You'll know in a second. Hello, future tubers. Welcome back to another cut in the middle of your long episode. I, I determined not to end the episode, as you can probably tell. But it is a new day and a new live stream. So, um... If, I'm a, if I sound way different, or if the music is vastly changed, that's all. We're, on a, we're having a corn stream tonight. Everyone's panicking, and I'm going to try to ignore the... The freakouts by playing some video games. Ignore the stress. So we have ourselves the A-team with a couple rookies, or at least lower ranks. You know, Tim's in here. Hades. Oh yeah, Hades really wanted to come along with nothing to wear. So we're doing our, our final bring a couple rookies and see how they do mission before we stop doing these. Yeah, future tubers, we're probably like 40 or 50 episodes in by now, maybe. Who knows if anyone currently talking is even alive. Could we all be ghosts? Spooky tubers. So I just want to have a little look around before I s jump straight to cutting out footage. But remember, of course, for the future tubers, the big plan here is to get to phase two as quickly as we can. So I don't want to spend too much more time... Uh, you know, doing these easy tier 1 UFOs. But the live tubers get to watch, you know. They get they get some perks for being here live. You know, this song's alright. 
It's not as good as You're Not Alone. But it's okay for background kind of mildly uh, sci-fi sounding music. Okay. So still no aliens. We got a kind of a weird low starting point with lots of little uh, windy, windy, twisty tubes, you know. But uh, we'll maybe go for one, one or two turns here just for the future tubers. Just to give them an idea what's going on. Oh yeah, this is a really bad place for rocket launcher. Not that great for snipers either, to be honest. Jelka might already have it. Ah! It's a good thing you can't infect us over the internet for now. So there was the little Sizen psionic attack, right? Quarantine the stream. Is the core in stream already? How much more precaution? How, how much more precautions? How many more precautions do we need to take? So this is just a medium UFO, probably Sizen. Of course, none of them are anywhere near. Oh, pfft. well, there's the UFO right next door. That's really close by. Okay, we might have a shot with a sniper or a rocket from from around there, maybe. Oh, you work at the grocery store. Oh, that's a that's a tough place to be these days. I've been doing a lot of uh, shopping deliveries. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how much that helps, but I'm like I refuse to go to the grocery store unless it's an emergency. So um, I hope I hope the delivery guys are getting paid all right. You know. Most of the grocery stores near where I live in the city, uh, you can either pay a little bit to, to get it delivered or just wait a little bit longer. Are you, are you going to move? Anytime now, Pixel. So, I think we need a little bit of backup over here for grenades. Well, I mean, all I can say for, for those of you that may be infected, uh, as long as you're relatively healthy and not already suffering from some other ailment, I've heard the, the odds are looking pretty good. You still might have a rough time, but... It's not like getting, uh... I don't know. <laughs> what's a comparatively bad disease nowadays? I was gonna say, like, uh... Getting, getting HIV back in the 80s or something were definitely death sentence. Yeah, probably not fatal, but still not something you want. I had a, uh, an upper respiratory flu, just, just a regular flu that, you know, the, the two, three week kind of flu. Uh, back in the fall for, I think, September, October, I was real sick for, for a couple weeks. That was no fun. And I don't, I don't want to have a repeat if I can help it. <laughs> This is so weird, there's no aliens. Future tubers, where'd all the aliens go? How much to throw a grenade? 44, maybe next turn we'll hop around the corner and throw a grenade there. 11 and a half hours. Get, get us. Ah, that's so loud. T relax, relax aliens. There's gonna be a lot of xenomorphs coming out. We should, uh, That was a change in music. Final Fantasy IX, eh? Alright. We should light up some fire over there. Without without killing our friends. Okay. The, uh, the plan here is, you know, Xenomorphs coming in. Not attacking the UFO. Yeah, I guess that's a good point, too. There is still a lot of flus going around. Like, it is standard spring break sort of flu season as well so there's no guarantee you've got the the proper COVID-19 you could just have a, a a classic flu it's way better to just have a classic flu hey Hades 
good luck, Hades. You're you're on this mission. This is finally your chance to shine. You're hiding in front of a car right here. No problem. So we we lit the ground up a little bit. That's not my best flame grenade, I'll say. This Final Fantasy IX uh, album is a weird. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. Okay, lots of fire. I feel good about the fire. Well, not working in over a week can be good or bad, depending on uh, a lot of a lot of details. <laughs> I think it's probably a good idea right now to not work if you can get away with it. All right, future tubers, one more turn. Let's see. Let's see what comes out. Yeah, fire works mostly. Well, okay, it didn't really work. Never mind. Like it still works because. Okay, that's enough of that. Um, well, got that one, but. The warrior kind of dodged his way through the fire, ducked and weaved, but he didn't take a straight line and then kill somebody, so he wasted all his time units navigating the fire. Of course, Tim immediately flees due to I have no idea what. Look, this tank has got it covered. Nothing to worry about there. Cat Tankulo can deal with this all night long. Alright, Hades. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta practice up. I can't just leave you in the corner all day. You'll never get any stronger. See, just a safe dead end down there. Nothing to worry about. I didn't even send you towards the UFO. That's how you know I'm a kind commander. Is the corner where you make the most money? No. No. You only get money if you kill aliens. Wonder if my shuffles work. Oh, that's what I forgot to do. It just plays them in order. It doesn't it doesn't have like a random next. <laughs> the playlist, sorry, I just tapped out for a second. The uh, the playlist in uh, OC or in the in the chatbot. You have to shuffle the order of the songs for the for the playlist to be randomized, so. Nothing wrong with Final Fantasy IX music, I'm just like, why do we always get the same songs? Okay. Hades has got a, you know, nice face, right? Oh, by the way, his brother-in-arms shield guy, Tim, here, should probably carry a shield. I'm gonna let, uh... Can let the aliens come to us a little bit. <laughs> Do, don't tell Robert that. <laughs> did, did Tim just panic again? Tim! I don't know if you're listening. Future Tim, if you survived the coronavirus. I hope you didn't panic in real life as much as you panicked in this game. 5%, huh? I guess that's a bit of a long shot. One, one could say. Give him some meds. Okay, maybe that's not the remix for me. Let's bring in Jarrell. He really wanted this minigun, so... Send Blood Angel up. This uh, this van is actually surprisingly good cover. You can't shoot through it at all. And maybe one sniper. Well, let's keep an eye on the UFO for now. The, the tank can probably cover this stuff. And if Tim ever stops panicking, we can go look inside the UFO. A string quartet of Xanarkant. Hmm. This one's not so bad. There we go. Drow got this cover. Let's 
See, Hades, there's no aliens back there. Totally didn't just rush you down there to get you killed. Alright, you know what, future tubers, we're going to take a cut here. I'll, this has already been like an hour long video, I just want to get to the end before too much time goes by. Looks like we're, this is a pretty easy mission. I wanted to show off the little fire strat, but it worked really effectively and now there's nothing much to do until we breach. Welcome back, future tubers. I just want to show off our fully completed capture list here. Look at all these green lights. Barely missed a thing. Why, why do I show this off? Hmm. Well, maybe. Because we caught a Corvette operator today. That each Canadian is assigned a maple tree to produce your maple syrup. <laughs> no, I don't even like maple syrup. <laughs> anyway, it was a fairly straightforward mission. Uh, we let some, we let the shield guys do, a, a, you know, the low rank guys. They got a little bit of practice here. Um, Tim did pretty well, honestly, all things considered. So, um, yeah, fine little mission, nothing to worry about. Got to live up to my stereotype, stereotypical Canadian self, I know. So we'll get a little Corvette operator uh, interrogation here. And either the next wave or the one after it will be phase two. And we're probably going to skip the next wave if it's not phase two. Because we're not going to, we're not going to sit around here doing these easy missions for too much longer, you know. We'll sell that bomber Corvette data core, get a little bit of money. That's fine. We got we got a good supply of money now. And I guess base one probably has some captures that we just did there. Like. Didn't they catch a chieftain? I could have sworn that was base one, right? Did we not kill him? I I thought he was captured. Maybe maybe we I don't know what happened there. <laughs> You guys in chat, let me know what happened to that guy. I'm pretty sure we we stun rotted him to death, but kind of looks like it didn't work. I guess if he was almost dead and we hit him with a stun rod, uh, maybe it just did enough red damage to kill him or something. Maybe. Anyway, a little bit of processing. We didn't capture any capture any xenomorphs that time around, so. Hello there, awesome guy. Okay, so we interrogated the final s tier one phase, season, 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 uh, Caesar salad. And yeah, no more tech. Like I said, I wasn't even worried about capturing him, but hey, we caught them all. Congratulations. That might be the first time I've caught all the aliens in one phase before. It's typically there's one or two that just eludes you. Hey there, dirigible. Did I man manage to capture... Hold on. Exploding Xenomorph. You cannot capture exploding xenomorphs. Uh, the exploding xenomorphs are one of the few exceptions to the rule that you can capture everything. So I do not recommend it. And uh, I think we saw at the end of last live stream because I cheated. One of the UFOs from the last wave, which was just a medium Corvette was technically trying to build an alien base. Which is how you know we're at phase two, basically. One of the ways. Or at least we're at the cusp of phase two. Is there any, uh, just double check here. Did I sell all my, uh... Pretty sure I sold all my data cores, I'm just double checking here. So we've got a pretty good money cash. We've got good cash money. 1.6 million, and we're expecting to make, oh, 700 plus another 750. So we're up to like almost 1.5 million of income. Like we'll be nearly 3 million at the beginning of February. All right, so we got another wave, but unfortunately, this is not the wave I was hoping for. Give me some of that cash money. I think we were we were a little bit poor for a while, but you know we did a few extra missions that we didn't technically need to do, and uh, I think it's 
it's helped balance the books quite well. So when I'm when I'm being smart and not dumb like I am right now, what I normally do with these UFOs is I wait till they all spawn before I fire the interceptors out, because <laughs> you can make smarter decisions on who shoots down what if you uh, if you just wait for them all to appear, basically. I'm just sort of betting on us having enough airships to, to take them all down. Maple glazed donut? Okay, I do like some maple donuts, I'll give you that. I, uh, I'm not a huge maple fan in general, maple syrup fan. I, like, if I'm having, um, you know, pancakes, waffles, French toast, stuff like that, I generally prefer, like, a berry syrup. I got a bunch of raspberry syrup right now that's sitting there waiting for some tasty French toast. French toast, in case you've never had it before. I don't know how popular it is outside of Canada. I assume, other than France and Canada, there's places that eat French toast. It's not really French, it's just bread dipped in egg and then cooked. But, egg and milk mix. Anyway, we're not doing these missions. We already decided. You're Mexican, so you don't have French toast? Yeah, I mean, that's probably fair. I don't really know how popular it is outside of... Canada. Pan perdu? Pan I don't know how to pronounce French. You'd think Canadians would be able to speak French. Psh. Not West Coast Canadians. Nice try, UFO. I see you trying to get out of there. Not today. Alright, so we just skipped a phase. But they were just small missions. We could have done them all, I know. Got a little bit more money, a little bit more experience, but... We need new technology. We want new things. Oh, I got you, Hades. I got you. Sorry. See, I'm having a hard time giving up a chat today. Something wrong with my brain. I feel like there's kind of a... I don't know if you guys are effect affected by it, but sort of like a... A brain drain with all the stress and freaking out just dealing with all this coronavirus stuff. Even if you're not sick or... You know, you're not getting kicked out of your house or whatever. Just everyone's also worried and freaking out and stuff. And it's making it uh, just kind of taking a toll on uh, everyone's sanity and ability to, like, be smart. This doesn't look like Tier 2 at all. Where's... What's going on? I thought... I thought we would for sure see Phase 2 in January. This seems a lot more like more babies, baby missions. Sending my Iceland forces down. Calm and cool. I'm sure everyone takes the stress differently. I guess I've just had a lot on my mind recently. Yeah, these are just normal phase one UFOs again. What a ripoff! I mean, we'll, we'll skim through this one as well fast, but... Future Tubers is going to have a much longer episode than anticipated. At least we can pretty safely take down all the, uh... All the, uh, Air Force, whatever you want to call it. The actual UFOs would be easy enough to kill. Hey there, Sihan. Or, I have no idea how to pronounce your name. Hello, new, new viewer. <laughs> Alright, let's kill some, let's kill some interceptors here. Hello from Turkey. Can't watch the stream from work. Add me as Jadar. All right, I will. Uh, I will add you to the list. I promise. All right, we gotta kill some. Uh, kill some guys. Let's just take this this one on. on um, you know, we could take a little bit of damage, but we're fine. Okay. To shoot down probably the last bomber corvette we'll ever see. Mm. 
one more practice of don't get killed by the big guns. Assuming I've got a good angle here. Looks like we're alright. Just skim skim the, the big guns. We're running a little low on fuel. Let's slow it down. And let's shoot this guy down. Alright, coming from behind. Let's just shoot things down. I don't have time for this. So, and again, again, just like I keep saying, definitely a good idea to do these missions. Not today. These are still just tier one, phase one aliens. That'll be enough. These uh, bomber corvettes with escorts, they're not too difficult. It's just good practice for the future. Because one of these days, we're going to have some more... Um, <laughs> more, uh, let's say, hair-raising air game battles. Okay. Surely, phase two any second. We keep making more income after shooting these UFOs down. But I mean, we've skipped like three waves of UFO missions, so that's a little bit down. That's a little bit scary. I can't imagine that we won't have phase two by the time February rolls around. That would be absolutely ridiculous. All right. So, on the plus side, we're making so much money. <laughs> Sheesh. That's, that's perhaps the most amount of money I've ever had in a month. Hello there, Robert. So yeah, the, the world is very happy with us. Because the aliens are sleeping on the job. Even the Soviets. Over a million dollars this year. So what I'm going to do immediately. And this was kind of the plan all along. Was now that we're into February, we're gonna hire us some more scientists. There we go. 40 more scientists. Goodbye, 600,000. Did I ever hire those engineers? Yes, we're up to 40 engineers in each base. And. I forgot a very important building for this plan. <laughs> I forgot that the scientists need to live somewhere. Luckily, it only takes five days, but we'll probably go to another 40 because our money is so good right now. Yeah. I'm going to build my last base, too. We're going to put our final base in South Africa. Maybe somewhere around here. I just want, like, good radar coverage near the uh, South Pole. Yeah, that's fine. But save a lot of money because we'll have lots of stuff to do. Alright, well, you know what, future tubers, this has already been a super long episode. I can basically guarantee that the next wave of UFOs will be phase two. I promise. I promise. And we're not that overpowered, because as soon as phase two hits, things is going to get crazy. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this split up episode. Next time, February 1980, let's see what happens. Okay, see you next time.